Sunny, back with another, another video and today I would like to answer a couple of your questions. Lately you guys have been asking me which power supply you should go for in maybe a new RX 470 build or if you already have a low end power supply, if you should upgrade to uh, RX 480 and if your power supply can handle the new graphics card. So today I'm going to show you what to check uh, if you already have a, like a low end power supply. Like you're planning on building a budget uh, PC but you're planning to go with maybe a low end Corsair 430 watt power supply or EBGA like a low end power supply and you're thinking if you could go with RX 480 or RX uh, 470 or if you can go with GTX 970. So today I'm going to show you guys what to check uh, before uh, getting a, a graphic card or if your power supply could handle the uh, graphic cards you are planning on going. And also I'm going to show you guys today the new case I bought uh, from Bitfinex Neos. Uh, I moved my X58 build from the uh, Fractal uh, Define R4 case because it was like huge. So I moved everything from that case to Bitfinex uh, Neos. So let's just go on with the video and today I'll help you guys uh, figure out which power supply you should go with. So as you can see I have my X58 build right here and also as you can see that's the new case I got for the build so that's the Bitfinex Neos now the reason I went with the purple the purple one was the cheapest one and I went with this one because kinda look like a different tone different color I kinda like the look because most of my builds are like just black and white or black build I just wanted to try out something different and I was like if I don't like the purple color I could always paint that black white or silver so now this case, like if you guys planning on buying a Bitfinex Neo case, you have to uh, keep one thing in mind. If you are planning on building like a, a system with like a liquid cooler, water cooler, don't go with uh, Bitfinex Neo. If you are planning on getting a dual red, you cannot fit a dual red, like Bitfinex, there's no way you can fit a dual red. Uh, radiator like you cannot feed a uh, H100 uh, Corsair H100i or you can fit a H105 you cannot fit none of those liquid cooler in Bitfinex uh, Neo case only thing you could do you can go with a single red like uh, Corsair H55, H50 or H80 you could go with a single red but you can't go with a dual red as you can see there is no mounting place right here you can mount it and another reason you can you cannot move those uh, hard drive bay. Uh, you cannot move those bays. So those hard drive bays just fixed there, and you cannot move it. There is no screw or nothing. These are like permanent. So you can even you open this cover. You can. This is like hardly there is any space. I don't know if you guys could see, but it's really tight fit. Bitfinex Neo case is really really like a tight fit case. Even like when you route the uh, motherboard, uh, the ATX 8-pin uh, power supply uh, wire, I don't know if you guys can see, you have to run that wire before you install the motherboard. Because if you don't, there's no way you could run the wire because it blocks the uh, place where the wire is supposed to come in from. So keep this in mind. When you like building a system with the Bitfinex Neo, you have to run the 8-pin uh, CPU uh, plug before you install the motherboard and one more thing uh, before ending do I recommend this case to someone okay if you're a budget builder you don't care about like going with the dual red or maybe you will just go with a single red like a H55 or H50 then it's okay but if you're someone who's planning on like putting a dual red and also going with like you know a bunch of fans and stuff this case is not for you now let's move on to power supply so what to look when you uh, buy a power supply or when you planning on uh, like upgrading your GPU and let's put this so you have the same power supply as mine uh, Corsair CX430 now it's a low-end power supply you could pick it up for $30 now as you can see, with that power supply, I'm running an RX 480 and also I'm running a uh, X5670 processor. That's a 6-core Xeon processor and a RX 480 8-gig version. I'm running both of it. My CPU is overclocked to 4 gigahertz, and my GPU is not overclocked. But on full load and stuff, the power supply handles it. 
okay but the only time you might have problem with that low end power supply when you overclock the CPU and you overclock the GPU that's the only time a low end a low watt power supply will fail on you the reason this power supply is handling right now because I only overclocked the CPU I didn't overclock the GPU but if I do overclock the GPU it's gonna crash on me I had this power supply laying around and I didn't want it to go and buy another power supply. For meantime, let's put this here, uh, you have a system and maybe you, you're planning on upgrading the power supply later on. You could you could just you know build a system with the CX430. Just don't overclock the GPU and CPU same time. You could overclock the CPU and just wait for maybe power supply upgrade and then you could uh, overclock the GPU. But from the back you could get a, a CX430, you could run your RX480, I tested with the full load and everything, game for hours after hours, it didn't crash on me, nothing happened. If you have a CX430 power supply, you can run a GTX 1060, you could run a, a Radeon RX480, the reference version. Also, you can run a RX 470, RX 460, uh, GTX 960, GTX 970. You don't have to upgrade your power supply. You could run with a CX430 from Corsair if you have one. So what to check, okay? The main thing with the power supply, you have to make sure first thing if you are like get if you have a, like a CX430 like I do, you have to make sure. Okay. I don't know if you guys could see, but there is like the plus 12 volt rail, right? So on 12 volt rail, you want at least, like the one I have with the CX430, I have 32 amp. So 32 amp is good enough for running a RX480, graphic like RX480 or GTX 970 and the uh, CPU, like the one I have. You could run a... Uh, i7 CPU like 6700 or a 6600 with no problem so just to clear that up for you guys I hope I didn't make you guys confused but if that answer your question if you are a budget builder and you are planning on going with a lower power supply and let's put this you're building a system with uh, RX 460 RX 470 or RX 480 you can go with the CX 430 power supply Okay, and if you are an overclocker and you are going to overclock your RX 480, then I recommend go with a 550 or 500 watt power supply. But if you're not going to overclock your RX 480, then you, you could go with a Corsair CX 430 and you should be good. So I hope... I hope I did answer you guys question if you guys have any other question leave in the comment below I just wanted to share with you guys. I'm recording this video with my uh, Motorola Moto G4 with the rear camera 13 megapixels. So let me know how the quality came and That should be it guys if you guys have any other question leave in the comment below. Peace